Okay, I thought today I would do a video that has been really requested. I have also talked about it uh, until I am blue in the face and I've never actually sat down and done it. Well, I actually have, I tell a lie, I actually have recorded it but I wasn't happy with the video. So, here we go. Fingers crossed that this will give you some information and maybe give you that glimmer of hope if you are in the same position that I was. So, this is going to be my PCOS to pregnancy video. I understand that everybody's situation is different so you can't take mine as sort of gospel but at least it will give you an insight to what I did, how things sort of happened to, uh, to me, also how I found out that I've got PCOS. So yeah, basically I'll start from the very beginning because it's a very good place to start. <laughs> so when I was 16 I was obviously at school and everything and I still hadn't even had one period. I was just like, what is going on? There's definitely something not right here. I just had had nothing, no cramps, nothing like that. So I was actually on my work experience and I had one and then I never had one again and that was it. So yeah, I was like obviously there's clearly something not quite right here and I went to the doctors and they said uh, it might just be a case of not starting, just literally might be that, might just be a late starter or there might be something um, a little bit more untoward, you don't know. So what they did was put me on the pill to kick start them because obviously when you go on the pill you go on for what is it three to four weeks and then you have a gap of a week with the one that I was put on um, and yeah that worked with the degree of having like an actual period but it, it's not really like a proper one because obviously any build up or anything like that it's just kind of flushing that out um, bear in mind this is just going to be brutally honest guys you know it's not like a proper release an egg and it's getting rid of that it's not really like that so it did work in that respect but I couldn't stay on the pill because literally it turned me into an absolute monster so I can't go on that now and I just can't like it just does not suit me at all but I was on it for a couple of years so after that I it still still nothing helped like nothing nothing happened once I came off the pill there was still like no sign of anything natural naturally so I had some scans and I think I was I think I was six I don't know whether I was 16 or 18, one of the two, had some scans and they said that basically they couldn't really see the one side, um, like my one ovary and fallopian tube and all of that, but the other one was okay. But they couldn't get a good view, good enough view of the other one. But they did say that on the whole I might need some help conceiving when I'm a bit older. So there was that. So I'd already got in my head that there was definitely going to be some sort of issue. And back then, I didn't really have a weight problem either. But I've always been like a stocky person. Like I've never, I've never been like really, really skinny or anything. But I never, I've never, I wasn't like really big. But when 18, 19 came around, I started to get comfortable. Obviously in a relationship, all of that, and started to put the weight on, which from since then ever since till now obviously I've had like a weight issue and I've been up and down up and down before I joined Slimming World so obviously that's not going to help PCOS and polycystic ovaries a lot of the time are um, to do with weight and your doctor will always say if you've got to try and lose the weight first I would imagine but there are also other cases where obviously you've got other symptoms such as like I don't know the facial hair or hormones and so, you know all, all sorts of stuff like that and every everybody in every situation is different obviously if you guys have got it i don't know you know how it is for you but for me it was certainly the easy weight fluctuation and the uh no periods obviously the time came for when i was starting to think about having a baby and i got married and all of that and i had been i, I, took, I had the implant in then so i had that taken out shortly after i got married because i knew that it was going to be like a long road ahead Obviously, I had like put some weight on after the wedding because I'd lost a little bit of weight. I'd still not got down to my lows, but I'd lost a little bit of weight to get into my wedding dress. And then after that, after the wedding, I put loads back on again because I had the honeymoon and all that. And then it got to the point where I finally decided to join Slim World because I went to the doctors, had some more scans, and they said that they could see that I was uh, definitely, I definitely got a PCOS, and they could see um, I had polycystic ovaries. So I thought, like, the only way I'm going to do this is to lose some weight. And the doctor said specifically that I did need to lose some weight before they would even help me. So she said, yeah, you need to get, like, closer to, like, a healthier BMI, and then we'll help you. So you basically have to be seen to help yourself before you can help 
that before they help you, so to speak. That was it in my case. As I say, every doctor's different, everyone's different, how it, how it works. So I joined Slim World. It wasn't the only reason that I joined Slim World. It was the main, the main thing that clicked for me was, as, as I'm sure you know, if you've watched me for Slim World reasons for a while, that I went to uh, Athens and I couldn't even hardly walk. So, um, you know, I was nearly 17 stone and desperately needed to do something to change the way I was. I was feeling really, really down, really depressed and still hadn't had a period or anything like that naturally. So obviously the alarm bells started and that's when, yeah, I joined. So when I joined Slim World, I had no idea what was ahead of me. I, ha I walked into that, those doors as nervous as we all do, you know, we don't want to do it. We don't want to go through the doors, but you've got to always think that those people sat in there have all been in that position. They all walked through those doors for the first time once. And for me, this is just another reason to do it. So I joined, obviously had my first week and the weight started to come off. So you guys all know my, my Slim World journey and the first time round I lost five, over five stone uh, in 37 weeks, 38 weeks, something like that. I think my grand total of my journey was 42 weeks, uh, that was before I got pregnant. All of that had happened and one day I did a ovulation test before, like I think this was kind of, um, I was maybe halfway through my journey. And I was, yeah, definitely I recommend ovulation tests, guys, because if you haven't done those, like, obviously you can track. But on the same token, like, on the, on the same token, I also think, like, it's very, very easy to get obsessed with it. And I think you have to have that, like, balance, if you know what I mean. It's really, really hard. Yeah, it's really, really hard to get that balance of not becoming, like, obsessed. And, but you also do need to know if, if, this is like the route that you're taking. So I just got like a load of cheapy ones off eBay, which I'll leave a link below. And what I did was got like a piece of paper, took the test at the same time every day, which isn't always the right thing to do. You can, you could do two a day if you wanted to or vary it. I just wanted to see it getting darker. So I, I did those and I stuck them on a piece of paper with like the date and time next to it for a while. I did this for a month or two and I could definitely see them getting dark and then when I saw it getting darker I did like a, a proper ovulation test like the digital ones with this little smiley face. I only ever had it come up once the first, the first like when I was doing it then and I didn't also want it to be like a forced thing it was just wherever the mood took us you know what I mean. So I just wanted to wait and, until like it was the right time and all of that, but I only ever had, I would say, that ovulation once. So that was unsuccessful and that was in a year, basically. That was in a year, so I'd only ovulated once in a year, so there's still that issue. So as the weight came off, I got to the, well, what, which now I look back at, was the end of my journey before I conceived Athena. And basically one day I just had like a weird, like, cramp feeling in what in one of my ovaries like it was around that area and I thought I wonder if I'm ovulating and I literally hadn't tested for over nine months it was like nine to ten months I hadn't tested at all I thought right just forget about it because I was more of a if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be sort of person so I left it so I had this weird pain I also felt I don't know just I felt different it was really weird and I said to Ed, like, I think I am, I think I might be ovulating. So I did an ovulation test and I could not believe it, the smiley face popped up. So I was just literally in absolute shock. And obviously, like, as I say, I didn't really want it, I didn't want it to be like, oh, we've got to, got to get upstairs now because, you know, the ovulation test positive, blah, blah, blah. So it wasn't like that at all. It wasn't like that, which I'm really glad about. Obviously, you guys know my situation now, so this is strange to talk about um, because obviously me and Ed are not together anymore, but we are just, I'm just telling you the facts of how it is. Anyway, yes, push came to shove, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then began the two week wait. So I was just like, I, I couldn't believe it. Like I've only, you know, over a year and a half, I'd only ovulated twice. Like that's how bad it was. And I decided to test on a day where I had been at work all day and I was absolutely shattered. Like I was literally, my head was in my hands while I was at work on the desk, really, really bad, shattered I was. So I thought, what on earth is going on? And basically I was meeting my mom, Ed, and my brother and sister at a restaurant and I just decided to go to Sainsbury's to get some dog food. I then tried 
my uh I, I, yeah as sorry as i was there i bought a pregnancy test just on the off chance and this was 13 days past ovulation so obviously if you've got like a normal cycle it should be like 14 days uh, that you wait to test so i waited 13 days and as you've seen the video which i'll link it as well if you wanted to see it you can see my reaction and i got the test and it was positive and i literally couldn't believe it so i'd had two chances in a year and a half and it worked like i just you just feel like it's not real like you feel like it's literally not real so yeah and then nine months later uh i think it came along so that is like basically on a whole what happened i know this is very like brief but just to give you an idea but for me it was 100 percent the weight loss if i hadn't have been slim world if i hadn't have lost the weight no matter how you do it no matter how you decide to lose the weight it was a hundred percent that and this i literally got tests booked in as well for the, for the month afterwards to go and have like um, more checks and like to be tested and all of that we got those booked in and then for that to come up before i just i could not believe my look like very ridiculous like absolutely ridiculous i couldn't believe it so i was then at a weight of 11 stone three whereas previously and obviously i was nearly 17 stone so this just made a massive difference to me, massive difference. I was more, much more active as well, much more active um, out and about doing club size and walking and running and all of that, much more active. So I was 11 stone three. Sorry if I've changed position, guys, my card just ran out. So yeah, I'm currently 12 stone nine and a half. So I'm like a stone, nearly a stone and a half above what I got to before. So I've got a little bit to go yet. But I still actually haven't had like a natural uh, period since since I had Athena, so that's what over seven months now. So it's really weird, and like it's clearly I've still got it, but it's just a case that I was very very lucky when it happened. And getting to my lowest weight definitely made you know I'll never know whether at that weight if I'd have maintained that weight, whether I would have had a period every month. I don't know but it's really weird to think like you know just in that space of time it happened so i definitely definitely would say get the ovulation test they 100 percent helped me the weight loss was the main thing the main main thing i don't know i don't know the science of it or the ins and outs i'm sure someone will comment below about it or why why the weight loss is linked to it but i think it's something to do with the hormone releasing uh to get you to release an egg and all of that sort of thing so yeah it's incredible really like how the human body works or how it doesn't work in my case but it it is possible it really is possible if you want this you can definitely definitely do everything in your power to, to help yourself to, to get it i know it's the hardest thing in the world to lose weight i know it is i've been there i'm doing it now and you know i've got to a point again now where i'm plateauing and i'm a bit stuck and i know how hard it is and frustrating and everything but you have got to think guys like having a baby is an amazing amazing thing and it was one of my things in life that you know well I, I never like said when i was younger i wasn't one of these when i was younger oh, i really want the baby blah blah, blah. but as i got older it, i became like, I, I became like um to the thought that that it was like the next thing to do i really really wanted one and i just thought how on earth am i going to do it so honestly i would literally say every single day like if you can just keep trying keep trying to lose your weight if you've got if you've got weight to lose it will definitely help you and if you know they if the doctors say to you lose it and then we help you you know that's the next stage never lose out on hope because you can control this to a degree you can get the weight if you can get the weight off it's definitely going to help you and the doctors are going to help you and get you tested and all of that and then it's seeing um you know how it goes from then whether it's ivf or whatever it's definitely something and, and obviously you can go on for ovarian drilling as well which is where they remove the cysts because what happens is with uh polycystic ovaries i do know this a little bit what happens is the eggs that are meant to release they they turn into cysts because they don't release so they're just sort of sat there um and that's when you get obviously like the, the crusts of the cyst so yeah you can have that operation to remove them which has obviously been successful for people that i know as well but i 100 percent recommend losing the weight but if not always go to your gp and see what your options are because some some may say that you haven't got to but that was just how it was in my case so 
don't ever lose out on hope guys i'm always here if you need to ask any questions i know um it's quite a bleak a brief outlook on my story but that's how it worked for me so i hope this helps and just as i say always always stay hopeful your day might be just around the corner you don't know so best of luck guys if you need any help whatsoever you know where i am so i will catch you really really soon thanks for watching guys bye